Today, let's look at why we should grow our own food. First of all, growing food can save you money. Whether or not gardening can actually save you money is often a topic of debate. The reason for this is because it comes down to the return on your investment. And this largely depends on what you grow. This is because, just like people, not all crops are created equal, at least in, not in terms of monetary value. This is because the price of a product fluctuates based on the season, the location you live in, or even environmental factors such as if there's a drought. However, some crops are generally cheaper to grow than to buy in the supermarket. These include things like bell peppers, herbs, lettuce and tomatoes. And the reason that my list doesn't include things like turnips, onions or carrots is because for one plant, of a, a turnip plant for example, you only get one turnip. It's not like tomatoes where one plant can give you 50 tomatoes. So if you want to grow your own food, it's best to plant something where you're going to get a good return on your investment. The second reason why I urge you all to consider growing your own food is because it's guaranteed to be fresh. Here in the UK, 50% of fresh vegetables come from overseas. So I've said fresh, but how fresh do you think that, that produce really is? It's probably travelled thousands of miles over the course of several days to get here. But if you've grown your food just steps away in your back garden, well, that's as fresh as it gets. And since you're able to harvest your food at peak ripeness, it will probably taste better and be more nutritious than the food you find in the shops. Also, let's not forget that when you grow your own food, you have no food miles basically because your food has not travelled to get to you. So this food benefits you because it's fresher, but it's also good for the earth and the environment. If at the end of my speech I've not been able to convince you to grow your own food, perhaps you'll at least go to a local farmer because then you can get food that is also fresher, more delicious and more nutritious and it won't have collected these food miles I just mentioned. The third reason to consider growing your own food is because homegrown food can't be recalled by the supermarket because there's been some salmonella outbreak in the spinach, for example. Well, do you remember I said that in the UK, 50% of produce is imported? Well, it's very concerning to know that only 2% of that food is ever inspected. So you can just imagine all the nasty things hiding in our food. I'll let you grow your own conclusions. But let's just keep in mind that when you grow your own food, you control what goes into it and the environment around it. And I don't know about you, but I haven't heard of any outbreaks of E. coli caused by homegrown food lately. My fourth reason why you should all begin growing your own food is because commercially grown food often lacks nutrients. Since around 1940, we have actually seen a decline in, in the nutritional value of our food by up to 40%. This means that today, on average, vegetables have significantly less minerals, vitamins and protein than the very same vegetables had less than a century ago. And there are two reasons for this. The first is called the environmental dilution effect and the second is the genetic dilution effect. So let's look at these two effects now. Firstly, the environmental dilution effect. Essentially, in order to grow food, 
food producers use fertilisation, irrigation and other methods that are commonly found in industrial industrialised farming because they want to increase their yield and lower the price of their crops. But these methods have also decreased the quality of the produce that the farmers grow. My second reason was the genetic dilution effect and we've all heard of Monsanto. We all know about the seeds and everything like that. And the problem is that much food grown commercially comes from hybrid plants. These plants have been developed to quickly produce hearty yields, but again, the food is often of a much lower quality. Essentially, what I'm trying to say is that people are trying to grow more food faster and they don't care about the quality of what we will be eating. My fifth and final reason is that when you grow your own food, you control what goes in and on what you grow. So we have already established that supermarket vegetables are short in nutrients, but do you know what they often contain? Pesticides. Mmm, yum. I really fancy that with my dinner. But jokes aside, in some cases, it's actually pretty appalling. For example, who here likes strawberries? I'm sure most people like strawberries. Well, one strawberry can contain up to 40 different pesticides. Mm -hmm. And what about celery? One stick of celery could have 60 different pesticides. And cucumbers can contain up to 86 different pesticides. Of course, not all produce is pesticide prone. There are some plants that to some certain degree are resistant to the chemicals that farmers spray on them. These tend to be foods with a hard outer surface, like a melon. But if you like eating soft skin produce, like tomatoes, strawberries and lettuce, these are the things you need to watch out for because they are very easily exposed to pesticides. So if you're concerned about pesticides, which you should be, then I suggest you begin growing your own tomatoes, peppers and strawberries, amongst others. So have I convinced you? Well, if I have, then it's time for you to find out whether or not you have green fingers. I suggest that you go to the world's favourite store, IKEA because IKEA now sells something called the Grow Room. This is an indoor spherical garden. It uses 17 pieces of wood and essentially it's um, a sphere with four different levels to it where you can put all your plants and create an indoor sphere in which you can sit inside and grow all your plants. So now you can't even give me the excuse that you don't have a garden or a balcony because you can buy a grow room and why not liven up your living room with all your plants. So I encourage you to go home and start growing your own plants in order to avoid pesticides and to have more nutritious food. Thank you.